Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mohima Ahmed and today we are not going to solve any question paper but we are going to like discuss about certain things that are available on the Pearson Qualifications website. So many people like text me asking me the books they need to buy for IGCSC and IAL. So let's start with the IGCSC. I cannot obviously show the subjects or books required for business subjects because I literally have no idea for those subjects, but I have ideas about the books you need to buy for human biology, biology, physics, chemistry. So the front cover for the physics uh, student book for IGCSC is something like this. So whenever you go to buy the physics IGCSC book, you should always try to like make sure that the book that you are buying resembles the, this front cover. And you should also check the author's name, the author's name from this book and the author's name that you are buying. So this is the front cover for the physics student book, 9 to 1 scale international IGCSEs. And this is the front cover for the Edexcel in IGCSE 9 to 1 scale chemistry uh, book. And this is for biology. This is These are the three books that are recommended by the Edexcel Pearson. And this is the book that you should use for chemistry, physics, and biology for IGCSE. I'm obviously going to provide the link for the three PDFs in the description box. But if you still want to buy the books, just make sure that the author's name and the front cover matches with these three images. So this is, these are the like main PDF for the entire books. Like you can see the biology student book from uh, Philip Broadfeld and Steve Potter at Excel International GCSEs 9 to 1 scale. The contents in here and everything inside the book is inside the PDF. And you can also make Make sure that your PD, that the book you are buying is similar to this PDF. So you should also download the PDF. This is the PDF for biology. This is the PDF for the physics book, in Excel International GCSEs 9 to 1 scale physics student book by Brain Arnold, Penny Johnson, Steve Woolley. And these are the contents for the book and everything inside the book should resemble with your printed book that you're going to buy from any shopkeeper. And this is for the chemistry, international, Edexcel International GCSE 9 to 1 scale chemistry student book by Jim Clark, Steve Owen, Rachel Yu. And these are the contents for the chemistry book. There are in total four units with 29 chapters. And in physics, there are in total eight units with 28 chapters. And in biology, there are six units with 22 chapters. You should also like check the printed book that you are buying that if that book does contain all the units and chapter. And I would suggest do not buy the like uh, original copy of the books. You should go for the maybe printed or black and white copy, photocopy version of the book because they are like a lot less heavier and less uh, cheap to buy but, and obviously if you need to look at a diagram that are like specific to colors and size then you can look at the pdf version and then have an idea about how the real image would be like so these are the three books for physics chemistry and biology and this is the book for human biology the front cover of this book looks like this this is the front cover for the international gcse at Excel 921 scale human biology student book. The writer of this name, the writer of the book is Philip Bradford and Steve Potter. And these are the contents of the book. Contents. Uh, it has in total four units and 13 chapters. And you should also check the chapters and units of your printed book for human biology too. So this was the books that you need to buy for physics, chemistry, biology, and human biology. Now for the maths, B and maths, A and pure maths, the book suggested by Pearson and Excel is not that much sufficient and most of the teachers don't also teach the students using those books because the questions are, that are provided in those books are really easy compared to the questions that appear in your exams. So it's kind of a waste of money and time to even buy that book and solve those books. So I would suggest 
maybe if you are from Bangladesh, you can buy the chapter wise question papers from Unique Coaching. That's a book brand selling question papers for many years. Like they have the question paper compiled from 20, uh, from 1990 to 20, 2019. And uh, they have chapter wise question papers and they're like really effective for you to understand the concepts and everything. So if you are from Bangladesh, I would suggest you to buy the unique coaching chapter wise question paper for further pure maths and maths B. And there is a specific book for maths A. So maybe if you are doing any course for any teacher, they would provide you the worksheets for that. So the question paper, sorry, the books suggested by the Pearson and Dexter is not that much useful. So I would not show those video uh, books in this video. So the book version is uh, complete. Now moving to the question papers, like the main work that you need to do to score A stars or like grade nine in the international IGCSC is by solving the question papers. And how and where can you find the question papers is Pearson qualifications. You need to search Pearson qualifications in the Google and this is the first result that shows you. And you can see that there are like different tabs under the main tab that is past papers, international A-levels, summer 21 supports, GCSE, find a qualification or welcome to Pearson to Excel. So like when you are already done completing the syllabus, then you have to move on to the question paper part. And you can obviously buy the question paper books that are the printed question papers compiled in a book, year wise book, and you can buy it from your nearest um, shop. But the problem is that the prints are always not that much specific and the prints are not that much good. So that's why I suggest you Solve the question papers, maybe from PDF version using your laptop or tab if you have any other electronic devices. So the you need to open the past paper tabs for the past papers you want to or, or you are looking for. So then scroll down till you get the select uh, qualifications. Sorry for my weak internet. So step one, select this qualification. So if you are looking for the international GCSEs, this is the qualification you have to choose. So click on the qualifications, international GCSE, and these are the subjects that are available for the international IGCSE. So for example, you want to find the question papers for biology. And so you have to choose B because biology starts with B. So if you choose biology, then there are like four options, Bangla, Bangladesh studies, Bengali, biology, and business. So we are choosing the option biology. And you can see that there are like two syllabuses like biology 2017 biology 2017 is basically one syllabus and biology 2011 is another syllabus this was the international gcses and 2017 is the international gcses nine to one scale this was the syllabus with the grading system a star and abcd and 2017 is the grading system of nine to one scale so it's better to solve question papers from 2011 because the question patterns didn't change that changed that much. Only few topics are added to the 91 skills. So I would suggest you to solve the question papers from 2011 to the latest year, to the year you're appearing in your exams. So if you choose the biology 2011 option, then you can see that question papers from 2012 are available because the exam first exam session that appeared for the 2011 syllabus was 2012 January and the last session for this syllabus was January 2019 and you can find all the papers inside the links inside the tabs and in certain years like in June 13 you would find some papers like uh, our papers like you can see here our papers our papers our paper stands for regional papers sometimes uh, as these are for international syllabuses, sometimes uh, some specific countries cannot perform the exam at the mentioned time. It may be due to the fact of political reasons or weather conditions or maybe due to Ramadan. So that's why some those countries need to sit for the exams maybe a few hours later than the mentioned time. So that's why those countries use the regional papers and regional papers are usually the most trickiest and toughest so you should always solve the regional papers because they clear your concepts really well so 
Here you can find the biology question papers for 2011. Now, for example, you want to change the specification for biology, but you want to change the specification from 2011. We want to shift to the 2017. So you have to choose this step three, June 13. You want to change this. So you have to option change. And then you can see that uh, you can move from 2012 to 2017, 2018, everything, but under the specification 2011. 11. And then you can change it again. We have to move to the biology, choose biology again, and then choose the option 2017. So the 2017 is basically the international IGCSE 9 to 1 scale, and the exam session started for this is June 2019, and the last exam held for this session is June 2021. And obviously, most of the papers in this folder is basically locked. You cannot unlock the paper or get the papers, but do not panic because I usually try to upload most of the question papers. But if I cannot for some reason, then your, your teacher, the specific teacher you are doing your course under, will obviously use these papers for their mock exams. So you will certainly solve these papers by yourself or in mocks. So... These are the papers. The June 19 sessions are already unlocked. Oh no, they are locked. Okay, I didn't know about that. But like all these sessions for the 9 to 1 scale papers are actually locked. But you can obviously find the 19 papers in internet in other sources. So yeah, this was it. And obviously, you want to if you want to change the subjects again, you have to choose the step two and choose different subjects. For example, you can choose C and this stands for chemistry, Chinese, commerce, and computer science. Um, let's choose the chemistry. Again, it has the 2011 version and 2017 version. 2011 version stands for the international GCSEs. That was that had the grading system of A star to A, B, C, D. And 2017 has the grading systems of nine to one scale. This is the latest grading system that are like currently in run. So again, in 2011, all the papers are uh, uploaded and all the papers are unlocked. But in the um, 2017 versions, all the papers are locked and you cannot actually unlock, get these papers from Pearson Excel website, Pearson Qualifications website. But you can obviously get these from other sources in the internet. So this was the introduction to all of us. You can find your question papers in Pearson at Excel qualifications and the question paper, sorry, and the uh, PDFs for the books is these. You, I will obviously link the PDFs in the description box and so that you can download the PDFs. So this was the end for the introduction of IGCSC and moving to the international A-levels. So here in international A-levels, all the books are actually, I actually found a link that has all the books inside one link. That is not basically one, all the books is mainly the maths, physics, chemistry, and biology. So here you can find the maths uh, student book one, sorry, uh, maths P1, P2, P3, P4, M1, um, M2. No, not M2 is not available, but M1, S1 is available. And uh, the student book for physics, student book one, student book two, chemistry, student book one, student book two, biology, student book one, student book two, and their solutions are also available in this link. Like if you scroll down the link, you can find the solution banks for the specific question for specific books. So this link is really helpful for the international A-levels, and I will obviously provide the link in the description box for the international A-levels. And this was the books that you need for international A-levels. Like the books you need for the international A-levels are inside this link. So click on the link and then match the front cover of these books given in this PDF version with your printed copy that you're buying from the nearest shopkeeper. And always may I and like I am actually providing you the like real version. These are not the fake books. So you can trust the link. And also in IGC, sorry, IAL, the main thing is that in for physics, chemistry, and biology, you need to have the lab books. So the lab books are also provided. I also have a link for lab books, so I will certainly upload the lab books in the description box too, so that you can get the lab books. And I 
get another message. So like this was the end for the A-levels that again, you can find the qualifications or like past papers for international A-levels in the same website, Pearson qualifications. Let me move back a little so that I can show you in detail. If the tab is not working, so moving to here. So you can, again, for international IGS, IAL, you need to search Pearson qualifications and you need to choose the tab your past papers here and then scroll down till you get the this thing, step one, select the qualifications. If you are from international advanced level, this is you, the tab you need to select, international advanced level, IAL. And if you, you click on the tab and then you need to select the subject, for example, if you, you are looking for the question papers for chemistry, to C and C stands for chemistry, and then you can see two specifications. This is the latest specification, the international IGCSEs, the international advanced level and international advanced subsidiary, and the chemistry, just chemistry, is stands for GCE or uh, the older version of A levels. So if you choose, uh, click on the tab, you can see questions starting from January 2009 to October 2020. They actually have a paper code difference, like the recent papers have the paper code of WCH01. So these papers, the old specification papers for international A level, had the code for WCH01, and the recent papers have these codes for WCH11. So always match the codes before solving the paper so that you can have the idea that if you are solving the latest question papers or the old question papers. Usually the question papers for international A levels is not that much different too. Even though the specification has changed, some things have uh, added and removed from the syllabus, but the question pattern is quite the same. Like maybe if you solve the question papers from the old specification, the only things that might be out of your specification is there, there's a chance of 5% of things that you didn't study in your normal course and that appeared in your old specification exams. So everything is quite similar. The question pattern is quite similar. The, the specifications are also quite similar. So it would be better if you could solve at least question papers from 2015 to the latest year, that is 2021. I would suggest solve this 2015 to 2021 question papers maybe twice if you have enough time and if you are done solving the question papers from 2020 uh, 2015 to 2020 twice then you should move to start moving backward like start solving question papers from 2014 to 2009 because international a levels is quite tough and tricky and lengthy and you have to keep a lot of things in your mind and uh, memorize a lot of things so I would suggest solve as much question papers as you can to get better scores in your exams. So this was the end for the books that you need for your international A levels and IGCSEs and the question and where can you find the question papers. I hope this video was clear enough for you all to get an idea about how the international IGCSEs and IAL would be and uh, if you have any other questions, like if you have uh, any specific questions about what kind of books you need and anything, you can comment below and every links that I saw that I showed in this video will be provided in the description box. And I am actually providing classes for physics and maths A October 2021 session for IGCSE and biology and maths AS for the January 22 session. If you want to join my classes then please inbox me in my facebook page that is mohima ahmed sneha or maybe you can email me or inbox me in my page at excel easy whichever method you find suitable for you i hope i answered every question that i've been receiving for the past few days and this was it thank you for watching